What's up guys? It's your girl Honey. Guys, I am out and about right now. I am feeling a little bit better. These last couple days have been really, really struggles for me. So just a little update guys. I know I said it in like every single one of our last videos, but I have been in major pain. I'm having nerve pain on my right side my lower back bone. So I've had it before and I've had it on my left side. Now I'm having it on my right side. It was like very underlining, like the more I would do, even at like five, six months, I was having it because I was cleaning the floors a lot in our house during the whole renovation situation. And the next day I would always have like this crazy pain. And I was like, oh my God, like this pain is crazy. And if I would lay down on my back, I wouldn't be able to get up. So mostly it was on my left side and now I'm having it really bad on my right side. So just from like doing all like the decorations for Bull's birthday and everything, like going up and down that ladder, which I shouldn't even have been on a ladder, I know. It's all for a good cause. But just going up and down the ladder, I think that like I really injured myself really bad and just being on my feet 24 seven and all this like extra weight, like I'm carrying an extra 25 pounds, literally feels like bones rubbing together like bare bones just like rubbing together that's how it feels i don't really know exactly what it is so and like it kind of goes down your whole leg to my knee and then my feet are just like super swollen so the last couple days hi bear what's going on my love you're on the vlog oh what's popping y'all it's your boy boss <laughs> My wife is officially 36 weeks. She's four weeks away from giving birth, but it feels like she's one day away from giving birth. That's what it feels like right now because man, our baby boy is kicking, he's moving, he's punching, and he's ready to be out in this world with us. Mm -hmm. Did you tell them you're slowing down now, right? You started off with some speed and now you're slowing down. Uh -huh. Slowing down. <laughs> Slowing down. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to the spot. I'll be there in like 25 minutes. 20 minutes. So I'm confused. I'm like, like, what am I doing there, though? <laughs> You're helping me put. We have to take it out of the box and put it in the car. Oh, we're just taking it out of the box and putting it in the car. Okay. 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 All right. So I'm gonna type in my GPS. Can't wait to see you, love. Okay, I can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, bye. So basically guys, I'm slowing down. That's basically what it is. Oh, uh, don't tell me I went the wrong way, guys. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to your GPS. So last couple days, I have been trying to, you know, just take it easy. I've still kind of been on my feet a little bit, but I've been icing and I've been kind of more just relaxed. So I think that it's kind of helping. I'm still limping, which is not really fun. Like I just want to be normal. So even when I'm like laying on my back in my bed, now my acid reflex is like on a whole nother level, like of horrible, horrific. So last night I was like sleeping and I'm like tossing and turning because like I'll lay one way and then I'm like uncomfortable and like Guys, there's just so much going on at once. I don't even know. I don't even want to sit here and just complain because honestly, it could just be so much worse. Like at this moment, we have a healthy baby. I'm healthy. Um, I'm almost at the finish line. So I don't want to be like complaining so much, but I just want to raise awareness so that like if any of you are going through anything like this, you just know that you're not alone. So last night I was sleeping and I would like lay one way and now I'm having like round ligament pain. <laughs> Guys, it's like the pains don't stop. So once you hit this moment, I feel like you feel it. You really start to feel it. For me anyways, this is just my experience. But um, so I'm having round ligament pain, which is like sharp kind of pain. It's mostly on my left side. I think I'm having Braxton Hicks or something because my stomach is getting so freaking hard. Like so hard. Hard as a freaking rock. And I'll get like this like crazy like contraction type pain. I don't even know. Like I don't even know what it is. I don't know if I'm just having like again like I I don't know guys. This is my first time experiencing any of this, so I don't know how to like actually pinpoint anything. So I'm assuming I'm having round ligament pain. My stomach's getting super hard. The baby is like kicking the shit out of me. Like oh my god. 
it's getting intense my bladder is just a hot mess like I'm peeing like 24 7 I'll literally like lay down and I have to pee and then getting out of bed now and rolling over with my nerve pain is so hard to do like it hurts so much the baby's moving right now he's probably like you did this to yourself <laughs> you literally did this to yourself because I did do this to myself I literally go 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 and I can't stop I'm a very self-sufficient person and I am now feeling the wrath of it all I don't know just getting up and getting out of bed is a struggle everything is becoming a struggle I am ready I literally feel like I'm gonna have this baby if there was any day that I felt like I was literally gonna give birth it was yesterday like he just wanted to like escape his freaking like nest I'm gonna try to just relax take it easy there's just there is a lot of stuff to do still like I still have stuff to do in his nursery and whatnot but um, I'm actually on my way to meet bull right now we're picking up a glider I didn't get it delivered because it was like an extra $300 and I was like extra $300 to get this damn glider delivered I'm gonna try to put that shit in my car so that is where I'm going right now. We're gonna go pick up his glider and then I think that's like, oh, I don't think. I know that is the last big piece for his room and then we're pretty much just doing little things like I have to put the mirror up, a couple shelves. I'm waiting on like this little hamper that I got. Oh, and I need to build his closet. I took all like the wired railing thing that the builders gave us. I took all that out and I'm gonna do like a DIY kind of like Ikea type closet. I'm honestly wishing his closet was a little bit bigger but it is what it is. So yeah I'm excited to show you guys the uh, nursery tour. We're gonna do a house tour this week. I know you guys seen a lot of the house already but we're gonna do a, a little bit of a house tour so we're excited for that. I'm just trying to get everything cleaned up because after Bull's birthday things are still not fully back to what they were so we're working on that there's still some things that need to be done also in the house as you know um we had that little bit of a flood situation in our basement so now we have to redo the some of the kitchen flooring where there was water damage that's happening on friday which i am not looking forward to at all our house is finally finally finished basically and now we have to like go rip up floor and like i'm just telling these guys like the contractors i'm like you guys need to make sure that if there's dust i need you to cover everything there's absolutely no shoes in my house cover everything with plastic i'm just really hoping it goes smooth and there's no issues but we shall see so that's basically my life update i'm trying to think what else i can talk to you guys about i'm 36 weeks pregnant which is freaking insane. I have four more weeks to go. I just, I don't know how it's gonna go. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna, like, how it's gonna go. But let me tell you, I'm excited to get this baby out of me. It's all in God's time, it's God's plan, and I'm not gonna kind of rush anything or, any oh, oh, another thing is, is that my stomach, I don't know if any of you ex pregnant women have experienced this, but my belly feels like, like it's like bruised or something like it's like if I put my hand like it's more around my belly button area it feels like tender and I'm starting to get like a little itchy so guys comment down below if you've ever experienced that what is it I don't know I've googled it a bit um, they say it's like your uh, muscle expanding so the baby's getting pretty big so he is what he's six pounds yeah he's six pounds today and i'm measuring a week and a half early so technically he's like six and a quarter i think six and a quarter i don't know am i gonna have a big oversized baby that i have to push out of this <sighs> guys pregnancy is so fun <laughs> i don't know guys i just don't know Christmas is around the corner. We have been keeping up with Vlogmas, which is really exciting for us. Guys, comment down below if you like our vlogs because we love shooting vlogs. I'm headed to go meet Bull and then um, I guess you guys will see him in a minute. Oh, the chair almost didn't fit in the freaking car. But we got it in the car. We literally got it in the car. It's literally the trunk went shut. I drove off from the place without the trunk shut the guys were like no it's not gonna fit and then i pulled over and i maneuvered it the way that i wanted to maneuver it and guess what the trunk shut 
So we are on our way back home. I got the chair. I'm so excited. Oh, and Bull didn't come. He didn't come meet us because he's like, am I even like gonna be needed there? I thought I was gonna need him to like pick it up and put it in the trunk, but the guys helped me put it in the trunk. And one guy was so negative. I was like, I don't take no for an answer. So if you're not fitting, we're gonna make you fit. And there was tons of room left. So I know that if we maneuvered it a certain way, it could happen. So it happened. I literally want to like go back there and drive back there and be like, shut the trunk guys, it fit. But I'm not gonna be extra like that today. I'm gonna go meet Bull at the grocery store and then we're gonna go home, make some dinner. I'm gonna drop this vlog for you guys. Vlogmas day 15. All right guys, so we are back home. I re-injured myself, which is just great. We're back home guys, your boy's back. Fully fit apparel. You already know what time it is. It's nice to see y'all. Um, she's doing too much. I'm trying to tell her. Relax. He was supposed to meet me, was he not? Was he not? I think he was supposed to meet you. And he didn't, so I had to handle it myself. Yeah. Right? No, you had people to handle it for you. And they couldn't handle, handle it. They couldn't <laughs> handle it. So the pregnant, so. pregnant girl could handle it, huh? I had to handle it myself. So right. we do what we gotta do. The, my trunk wouldn't close. So I made it close. I'm done for the day. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. So here's Bull. What's up, guys? And we're gonna close out this video. So enjoy the vlog. Can you tell them how you're feeling? Like garbage. All right. All right, guys. So I got some feet to massage. You already know what time it is. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I had something in the car as well, guys. We just asked Honey how she's feeling, right? And what did she say? I'm looking dark right now. What did she say? She's not feeling too good, right? But if you guys know me, you guys know every Wednesday, every Wednesday makes it a week. Every Wednesday makes it a week, right? Mm -hmm. Every Wednesday makes it a week, guys. And like I said before, she's 36 weeks, like I did the week before that, and the week before that, and the week before that, and we're 36 weeks deep. Voila, roses. For the lovely lady. I switched it up today. We got the Valentine's color. Valentine's color. color. Thanks, babe. Mm hmm. It doesn't get no better, right, guys? Mm. Smell, smell the pink one. Mm. So mm. fresh. So fresh and so clean, <laughs> clean. <laughs> uh, All right, guys, so you already know what time it is. Bull. We're doing what Bull does. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I have my gum out. Bull doing what Bull does. You already know. 